We are going to analyze the columns of a data frame in Python. The best way to do this solved exercise is to look for the problem, then think or solve the problem and after that refer the solution. First, let's import the library pandas spd. For this exercise, we will use the dataset mpg. The description and the URL of the same is given below. So import mpg dataset as mpg. We will use read underscore csv and use the URL provided in below description box to get the data. So this mpg dataset has information about mileage per gallon, number of cylinders of vehicle, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, the model or the make of the year, origin of company and the name of the vehicle. There are 398 rows and 9 columns. Now we need to copy this mpg dataset or data frame as car. So create a second copy. So we say car equal to mpg dot copy. So we use the function dot copy. So this will create a second copy and name it as car. Now this is just a duplicate or a copy of a original data frame mpg and it has same number of rows and same column. Let's see how the original data frame mpg and its copy car will behave. So we will drop a column name cylinder from original data frame mpg and inspect what will happen to its copy. So to drop we will use the function dot drop. So with use of function dot drop we drop the column cylinders and we have to tell the function that the cylinders is a column. So axis equal to 1. As you know that axis equal to 0 refer to rows and axis equal to 1 refers to column. So this cylinders is a name or a label of a column. So mpg equal to mpg dot drop cylinders axis equal to 1. Then see the columns mpg dot columns and we have seen that now it has 8 columns so mpg displacement and there is no cylinder. Now check for car columns So the columns in our copied data frame it still have the cylinders column. So mpg cylinder displacement, it has the 9 column. So you see that by creating a copy, if there is a change happen to the original data frame, it will not be reflected into your copied data frame. Let's analyze your data frame car using the function dot info and dot describe. So car dot info give us multiple information of the data frame first it will give you the class then it will give you the number of rows then how many columns then the index of each column the label of each column non null values or non missing values so in our data frame the horsepower has missing values and data type of each column car dot describe give us the summary statistics it will give the summary statistics for numerical columns so mpg mileage its count mean, standard deviation, minimum value, maximum value, 50% is your median and two quantiles as 25% and 75%. So will we have the summary statistics or description about MPG column, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration and model year. You need to provide unique values in each columns of cylinders and origin. So cylinder has 8, 6, 4, 3, origin of country, USA, Europe, Japan. So you have to find out how many unique values are there. So we use the function dot value underscore counts. So on our two columns of car data frame, so we extract first those two columns, cylinders and origin on the cars data frame using double square bracket then with the chain dot we apply the value underscore counts function so we will find in descending order usa origin 8 cylinder vehicle 100 and not or 103 count is there then usa 6 cylinder 74 vehicles usa 4 cylinder 72 vehicles japan 4 cylinder 69 vehicles Europe, 
फोर सिलेंडर सिक्सटी थ्री वेहीकल्स एंड सो ऑन सो यू विल फाइंड दैट द सेम हैज बिन गिवन इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर फॉर बोथ द सिलेंडर्स ऑफ द वहीकल एंड द ओरिजन ऑफ द वहीकल नाउ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर टू प्रोवाइड यूनिक वैल्यू ऑफ अ कॉलम ओरिजन ऑफ द वहीकल so we can use value under score counts function so instead of using on origin and cylinders we are using only on origin so car origin column dot value underscore counts so it will give us usa has 249 japan 79 and europe 70 we can also use the function dot unique which will give us the categories not the count so dot unique function will give us the categories so there are three categories usa japan and europe and the function and unique will give us the number of unique categories there are three so the dot unique and dot and unique will give us the category or number of category but the function dot value underscore counts will give us the category wise number of rows sort value of car data frame as per displacement column so we need to now sort the data frame from highest value to the lowest value as per displacement column we will use the function sort underscore values so on car data frame dot sort underscore values as per displacement column so we will see that the lowest value first then 70 then 440 454 and so on so we'll see that it has been sorted into the ascending order so by default it will give you the ascending order you can make or use any other numerical column for sorting sort value of car data frame as per displacement column in descending order so by default we have seen the sort underscore values will do the sorting as per ascending now we want into the descending order so car dot sort underscore values displacement column and we have to specify ascending equal to false ascending equal to true is its by default argument so it's now descending so highest value first and the lowest value at the last row or the bottom now we want to sort based upon two columns displacement and weight instead of one and in descending order so how to do it with the same function in previous exercise we have referred to or used only one column now in this problem we need to use the two columns displacement and weight of the vehicle so we use on our car data frame the same function sort underscore values or instead of displacement we will provide two column as a list or in square bracket displacement comma weight and we want in the descending so we say ascending equal to false so you will see or notice that your first row has 455 displacement and your weight is 4951 now the second row also have the same displacement but the weight is in the descending the third has same displacement and the weight is in the descending now we have displacement 455 to 454 then the weight and so on so you have seen that the first sorting has been done based upon displacement and then the weight and you can use multiple columns or more than two columns for with same function also so far we have used or found the summary statistics of only numerical columns can we find it for all the columns whether numerical or non numerical so we use the same function dot describe but as a argument we will provide include equal to all so on our data frame car dot describe include equal to all will include all the columns irrespective of whether they are numerical or non numerical so for numerical we will get the count mean standard deviation minimum 
25 percentile, 50 percentile or median 75 and maximum. But for non-numerical columns like origin, we will get the count, the number of unique values. We have seen previously that the number of unique values are 3, USA, Europe and Japan, which is the most occurring unique value, USA, we have seen in previous exercise. And what is the frequency of most or top unique value? It is 249. It will not provide the mean, standard, division or median, minimum, maximum for non-numerical value because it's these summary statistics are not applicable for non-numerical columns. The same way, the name. So, if we have 305 unique vehicle names. The top is Ford Pinto, the vehicle name and the frequency of this vehicle is 6. So, this is how we can see the description of both the numerical and non-numerical columns in our data frame. So, can we transpose our data frame? So, transpose simply means that converting rows to column and column to rows. So, we can simply use dot t. This will make the columns as rows and rows as a column or invert the data frame. Now, if you have any doubt or query, you can write in the comment box below or you can attend our live doubt sessions to ask your query with the faculty.